Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Celtic Weave Stitch, which is an absolutely stunning uh, crochet stitch. It uh, is this design here and you can see that it looks like uh, woven cords. Uh, here in my swatch. This is one of the more complicated stitches to work so if this is your first time trying it uh, don't worry if you find and feel that you have to go over this video a couple times uh, and uh, fiddle around with it and uh, it's, uh, it is well worth it once uh, you get the hang of this crochet stitch. Because of all of these post stitches this uh, stitch does use a lot of yarn so if you're working a larger project you're going to want to take that into account this is the front of your fabric and this is your back uh, it is quite thick when it is worked up and I think just absolutely beautiful so we're going to learn how to crochet this Celtic weave stitch today I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen times Pantone yarn by your inspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook I'll put links in the description of this video for both of these items also in the description of the video you're going to find a direct link to the written and photo tutorial for this Celtic weave stitch it's free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around at some of the other video tutorials. This channel is updated weekly with free stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. I'm so glad that you're here. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and uh, get started. For our stitch today, it is worked in rows. So you're going to start off by making a slip knot and a foundation chain and your foundation chain can be any multiple of four plus three chains so for my swatch today I'm going to be making a foundation chain of 27 chains there's 10 20, and 27. Once you have your foundation chain the desired length, you're going to begin row 1 by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in 1, 2, a single crochet into that second chain, and then into each stitch all the way across. This is just going to give us a solid base for us to work this Celtic weave stitch in. So single crochet into that second chain from your hook and then in each chain all the way across. At the end of row one you're going to chain three and turn your work. Now for row two, you're going to work a series of triple crochet stitches that look like they are crossed over top of one another. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and into the next two, into each of the next two, work one triple crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops three times and then you're going to do the same into the next stitch so you have two skipped stitches followed by two triple crochet stitches we're now going to go back and work into these two skipped stitches to do so I like to push the two stitches I've just worked, push them right back so that the tops of the stitches I'm going to work in are uh, easy to see there. 
You're then going to go back and working in that first skipped stitch, work one triple crochet. So yarn over twice, bring your hook back and insert it into the top of that stitch. Yarn over and drop a loop, complete your triple crochet. And you're going to do the same thing into the next skipped stitch. So again, I've pushed those stitches right back so I can see that next skipped stitch and work one triple into it. This is now what your work should look like. So you have these stitches that are crossed right over top of one another. Next, you're going to skip the next two unworked single crochet stitches and into the next stitch, work a triple. And then one triple into the next. Now, just as you did before, we want to work into those two skipped stitches that you can see down here. So you want to push those stitches back so the tops of those single crochet stitches are exposed. Work one triple crochet in each, starting with the first skipped stitch. And then into the second skipped stitch. You're now going to repeat this all the way across. Skip the next two stitches, work one triple in each of the next, and then one triple into each of the next skipped, or into the previous skip stitches. Repeat it all the way across until you have one stitch remaining and double crochet into that stitch. At the end of your row two, you're just working one double crochet into that final stitch. Chain three and turn your work. We're now going to, in row three, continue working these crossed triple crochet stitches. Instead, this time working them around the posts of the stitch below. So we're going to be working in this row back post triple crochet stitches. For row three, you're going to begin by skipping that first stitch that is at the base of your turning chain and work one back post triple crochet into each of the next two stitches. So yarn over twice, bring your hook to the back of your work and insert your hook around the post of that next stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two three times. Repeat the same for the next stitch. Yarn over twice, bring your hook to the back of your work Insert your hook around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You're then going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and around the post of the next two stitches, work a back post double cro uh, triple crochet. So skip the next two stitches around the post of the next two, work one back post triple. You now want to go back and into those skip stitches, work a back post triple around each. So yarn over twice, and here I kind of push the stitch out a little bit, pull these stitches back so you can see where you're working and uh, work around the post of that first skipped stitch. You may have to move your uh, stitches around a little bit in order to be able to see it, but just push them right out of the way. Then you're going to do the same around the next skip stitch. So here it is right here on the back side. 
I want to push it forward so I can see that post separated from the others and work my back post triple around the post of it. Just like so. You're then going to skip the next two unworked stitches. So that th that's these two triples here and work one back post triple around each of the next two stitches. Now just as you did before, you want to find those two skip stitches which are right here. Work one back post triple around each starting with that first skip stitch so I kind of push it right forward, separate it from the rest, work my back post triple, repeat it for the next skip stitch, just like so. You're going to now repeat that all the way across. So skip the next two on work stitches, work two back post triple crochet stitches, and then one back post triple in each of the skipped stitches. Repeat that all the way across to your final three stitches. When you come across to your final three stitches, you're going to work one back post double crochet in each of the next two. So I have three stitches left here, including that turning chain. One back post triple crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then finish off my row three with a double crochet into the top of that turning chain. Now it may not look like much yet. This is your back side. Chain three and turn your work. And it may still look a little bit confusing, but don't worry, you can kind of start to see that pattern emerging. And it's gonna look wonderful with our next row. So you've chained three and turned your work. We're now going to work a series of front post triple crochet stitches. We're going to start right off the bat by skipping these first two triples and into the next two work one front post triple crochet. So I'll go back here to work your front post triple you're going to yarn over twice, bring your hook in front of your work, insert it around the post of the next stitch, yarn over drop a loop, yarn over pull through two three times. You're going to do the same into that next stitch. Work one front post triple. Now going back into those skipped stitches that you can see over here, work one front post triple around the first stitch. So I'm bringing my hook in front, working a front post triple crochet around the first skipped stitch and doing the same for the next skipped stitch. You're going to repeat. So skipping the next two unworked stitches, now here you might have to kind of pull it apart to make sure that you're seeing these two unworked ones that are kind of tucked in behind. So you want to skip those two, work a front post triple around each of the next two stitches. Go back into your skip stitches and work one front post triple around the first skipped stitch and a front post triple around the next skipped stitch. Repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. At the end of round, uh, row four, you're going to work your final double crochet into the top of your turning chain. Chain three and turn your work. Now you should see 
your woven pattern coming out quite nicely there as it is and as far as the repeat in this pattern is concerned that is it so for the rest of the time for the rest for as long as you would like you're going to simply repeat your row three and your row four so your row three was your back post triple crochet row and your row four that we just worked with all of our front post triple crochet stitches and that's all there is to working this beautiful Celtic weave stitch so thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe be sure to keep checking back weekly as this channel has a new stitch tutorial every Sunday so I look forward to seeing you next week until then happy crocheting bye